In this program, we're going to learn about Earth. What is Earth? Earth is the planet on which we live and the third planet from the Sun in our solar system. It is a very unique planet. Scientists believe Earth and its moon formed at the same time as the rest of the solar system, about 4.5 billion years ago. The Earth is the fifth largest planet in the solar system. Earth orbits, or travels around, the Sun once every 365 and one quarter days, or one year. The shape of its orbit is not quite a perfect circle. It's more like an oval, which causes Earth's distance from the Sun to vary during the year. Earth spins around like a top at just over 1,000 miles per hour. It takes the Earth 24 hours, or one day, to make one complete turn. The areas of the Earth that face the Sun experience day, while those facing away from the Sun experience night. From space, Earth looks like a blue marble with white swirls and areas of brown, yellow, and green. What is Earth made of? The Earth consists of land, air, water, and life. Earth's land may appear solid, but it is actually quite fragile and constantly moving. The Earth's surface is split into regions called tectonic plates that float above a rocky mantle that separates itself from the Earth's molten core. These plates move apart and collide with each other, creating mountains and ridges. At one point in Earth's history, the tectonic plates formed one giant continent called Pangaea. Over millions of years, the plates have drifted apart, creating seven separate continents, or land masses. Earth's saltwater oceans cover about 71% of the Earth's surface. Earth is the only planet in our solar system with liquid water on its surface. Because of this, Earth is the only planet that supports millions of species, or kinds of life. Life on Earth could not thrive without water, but it also could not survive the harshness of space without the protection of Earth's atmosphere, which is 21% oxygen. The atmosphere is all the gases and water vapor that surround the Earth and protect it from space, making it the perfect place for life to thrive. The atmosphere and the Earth's water combine to create Earth's weather, which brings water to the land. Think of the atmosphere like the glass of a greenhouse, protecting the plants within and regulating temperatures. Some scientists have called Earth the Goldilocks planet. In the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, a little girl named Goldilocks liked everything just right. Her porridge couldn't be too hot or too cold and her bed couldn't be too hard or too soft. On Earth, everything is just right for life to exist. Earth is 93 million miles from the sun. If it were any closer to the sun, the surface of the Earth would be too hot to sustain life. If it were any farther from the sun, the surface would be too cold. Earth is warm, but not too warm. And it has water, but not too much water. It's just right. Now 
that you better understand the Earth, think about this. What would happen if the light of the sun stopped reaching the Earth?